What's happening? Yeah. Airfield. Under um, under some rain cover. That's here. It just fucking go opened up to the heavens. So I just lie down and and then put this on me, put this over me head. Um, that was mad. It was like a, a fucking big massive rainstorm for about three minutes. But. Just trying to get back into things. Exercising on the this this new little thing there. You know what I mean? A little ass on there. Boom. Just a little little sniper at. Long nasal hair coming on. No, are you getting older and you think your body knows what it's doing? Why does it need long nasal hair? And then I thought it's for um, it's for thingy, isn't it? James, because you're more vulnerable to James, so. Um, Long nasal hairs will stop James going off your nose because your nose is like one of the only. It's going to be one of the only. It's, it is the only, isn't it? One of the only holes to your brain is your nose. I was thinking, but I, th I said one of your only because I know your eye socket as well. But that's not good. That's not proper English, is it? One of the only entrances to your brain. One of the only entrances to your... One of the only entrances to your brain. How... Because there's, there's three entrances to your brain. So if you said one of the only entrances to your brain... You, 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 it doesn't work, does it? You'd have to say one of the th one of the few only that way. One of the few only orifices to your brain. No, one of the th th three. Halfways into your brain. That sounds better. Like one of your, one of the few, one of the. Do, 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 do you know? One of the few pathways to your brain is through your nasal passage, and also through your eyeball socket. Bye. See all the rain protecting me there, so for that. So waterproof. Shit, humans, aren't we? We just shit, we just shit. We just get wet and then freeze to death. We're just not on our own without our brain. We're just not. <laughs> Did I just say that? On our own, without our brains, we're not that good, are we? What would you be if you had no brain? You wouldn't be... Oh, we're not good without our brains, no. Because you just wouldn't be alive. Or... If you can... Put... 
I love myself so much, you know. I just see a I hear my little voice and I think, oh I love hearing that voice again. Little deep voice. Vibrating vibrating to the atmosphere. With my little sweet voice. If you if your brain is 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 you is part of you is 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 where you the brain is where consciousness is. No, we don't know that either. Brain is where the brain is where you live inside. So could you put the brain in some kind of jar and still be alive? It has to be a bit more, a bit more technical than that, doesn't it? Just sticking it in a jar because it needs blood, oxygen, um, nutrients. But surely these these can all be injected. One day will you be able to do a brain transplant into a healthy body, and then you just bounce around? It's just fucked up, isn't it? Because it's all interconnected. Anyway, bit of neuroscience for you there. In a bit.